we are now at the most exciting, flexible, advanced and absolutely confusing housing script in the whole series from Skahoy, the freeform housing script. And I've made a lot of tests which are here on the table and I will introduce you to what is possible with the freeform uh, housing script. But just quickly to iterate what we have been doing so far, we have been making housings based on um, side sections, side profiles. We have done it based on housing profiles. We have also made U boxes. This is a U box and this was the fourfold box, which gives you the same possibility of creating a rectangular box like this, but in slightly different ways with different features, different price tags, depending on what you want. So if you want a square box, that's fine. You can do that with all those types. We have also explored how it's actually possible to make a console type like this. If you look at it from the side, you'll see that it has a, a tilt when it's positioned on a table, which is nice. You uh, basically deviate from the square or the uh, rectangular shape by specifying that one of the sides should have a different height than the other one. And that's possible with the uh, Sheffer housings script as uh, one of the previous vid videos will have shown you. But what if you want some absolutely crazy shape, but in a little bit, the, you know, the same uh, basic idea as this one. That's what the free housing, uh, free form profile, or what is it called? Actually, let me just see in scripts. Free form profile housings script will give you. So the free form profile refers to the end of a box like this. This is the free form. I said that this was created with another script and that's the only exception the other scripts will give you. That is, you can specify a height on the one side. But that gave inspiration to what if you actually could specify any shape for the end panel and then everything else would fit itself to that. And that's what the freeform housing script does. Look at the drawing here behind me. This is actually four panels just generated from the freeform profile housing script. And uh, I have now put this side in uh, wire mode. So it gives you a really nice drawing that with all the guide engravings, which is a part of the script too, you can see, okay, so here we have an expectation of a 90 degree angle, 90 degree, the length of this side is 40, the angle is, is 90 of the um, side, the angle is 180, yeah, that's the same as zero. This would be zero. Here's a housing bracket. There is a connection between two panels. So actually, you, you have a really clear view of how this box would be put together when you look at this drawing. Um, let's look a bit at, at these parts here so you can see. So how will this look in real life? In fact, this is a real product based on that, um, that form. So this is how the panel looks from the front, but that's really not the most interesting thing today. The interesting thing is how does it look from the side? So the requirement for this particular product was that it had a really slim part here, that it had some depth here to house some electronics and as well over here, but a limited uh, depth because of some other constraints mechanically of where it should fit in. If you look at it from the front and everything else, it's just bent panels which come together around an end like this. So if we look at some of the examples on the table here in front of me, you can see this is really the show pony of the housing script. And uh, let me just zoom in a little bit. Okay, I can move these aside. This is really ugly. It has nothing to do with real needs, but um, this case is one of the, the results that will come out of the housing script if you just run it without um, changing any of the settings. It is really trying to demonstrate all the features that exist. So what exists? Well, you can see, basically what you see here is really, I mean, if I turn it around, I've taken off the side and you can see that 
exactly, this is exactly how the panels will look with uh, bends. Uh, these, this is a, a backwards bend, this is a forward bend. Um, this is two panels uh, coming together in this uh, junction here. We are using a housing profile even, that's even possible. And this is all drawn on this side. These engravings are some that you would normally not print or have engraved on your panels. They are the guide engravings. Typically they come in orange, as uh, you know if you've seen the other videos. Uh, in this case, because this is a demo box, I decided to have them milled or engraved on the panel so you can see how is it put together on the inside. So you can see we have a panel four millimeter uh, thick. This is uh, probably two and a half. This is probably three. Two millimeter, two and a half millimeter. So you can have different thicknesses of panels using this script. You can place housing brackets where you want to have housing brackets. You can specify exactly angles of these um, junctions and you can even go beyond the 90 degree angle we have seen before. You can go as far as was well um, like that one. Uh, this is more than 90 degree. Um, uh, and you can use housing profiles too. Okay, so this is absolutely crazy Joe. It has nothing to do with real life, but it's really nice to demonstrate how far you can take it and how ugly it can be. Let's take some of the other examples I have brought. Um, basically, okay, let's, let's just start out with a, something, something like a more realistic example. I'll zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so here you can see it's, it's, um, it's a rectangular box, in fact. And this is how the panels will look inside. Uh, now I have uh, screwed the end on both sides. It's the same in, in both ends. But actually I have a panel just here which uh, shows you how it's, um, it's, it's looking um, without an end added. And also there's no bottom on, on this one. So that's really how it, it looks if you remove the end. Um, then we have, in this case, I made one which is triangular. And um, you also see that this is actually made out of uh, almost one piece. Um, we have our two pieces joined together here. Um, but it is actually, it, it can actually be done with only a single piece of metal. Uh, 